Welcome back, everyone. My name is Eltamar, and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 3. Where we left off last time, we had just finished some shopping. I didn't quite get everything I wanted done yet because he ran out of money, but we did purchase some objects, which I think are going to help us out. For instance, the armor of Perseverance is extremely good armor and is going to replace the adamantine splint mail from the beginning of the game. Well, not the beginning of the game, but the Act 2. We also swapped out the Dark Justiciar helmet for the Grim Skull Helm, just to give Shadowheart that crit immunity, which I think is important. Uh, we're going to start this video by trying to save at least one of the murder victims, because I need to gain a level. We're pretty close. We need 800 experience, so I'm going to save a one of the murder people, see if I level up. If not, we'll go save another one. And then when we're ready, we're going to head down to fight the dragon of... Baldur's Gate. We gained 210 experience just for walking into the Elf Song Tavern. Let's go talk to the chef. He is the one that's going to be murdered. I remember this because we killed him last time. Damn rats. Oi, you. Yes. I thought I asked you to clean the rats out of this cellar yesterday already. Hop to it. Get in there. I don't kill rats. Rats are unimportant. Your name is on a list of murder targets. You need to hide. No. I need them rats taken care of. Here's the deal. I'll keep a lookout for murderers. You murder the rats. All right, I'll give it a shot. Also, I, you're probably going to die. Is that a cat that's just sleeping? No. Cold lodgings. Okay, we're going to work on that too. That's a lot of rats. Okay, it looks like Gale, Farlack, and our main character go first. Super. Let's start this party. One. Oops. Don't do that. Uh, sure. We killed a good chunk of the rats, but they're not all dead. I can't really hit a good chunk of them. Also, if I blow up all the fire wine barrels, there won't be any wine left. Oh, oh, there's are dead. I was like, how is that not a valid target? But that actually makes a lot of sense. We'll just kill one. 28 damage, a little bit overkill. Our main character can still move and attack, but... Uh, can't throw anymore, and I don't really want to move her around too much. Let's just start taking pot shots. We'll use both of our offhand attacks first. Eat it. Oh, you got left. There's only six rats left. Okay. Let's end this. Eh, I'm not going to use any spells like Guardian Spirits or anything. That would be silly. All right, all the rats have moved into melee. Let's just kill them all. I'm not going to throw anything. Now this is my happy place. Murdering things? Murdering poor defenseless rats? Let's be clear, these are not cranium rats or anything like that. They don't get stronger the more of them that are around. Where's the last one? That's over the stairs there. Okay. Also, we're definitely not looting the bodies of the rats. A keepsake ring. What does that do? He asked. Dominate beast. He's talking about his little side room that we're looking for, but we'll figure that out in a second. Might be worth a bunch of experience. Could level up from it. On the other side, you'll find a passageway known only to those invited to do business. I found the bootin. I don't really care about the wine, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. Let's go downstairs. Okay, so there's going to be gith down there. Let's go deal with the chef thing first, and then we'll go fight the gith, probably. 
And then we go down to the depths of Baldur's Gate. And we get to level up, which means we get to sell more things. I might just pause the video between the first part of the video, pre-level, and the post-level where we've sold a bunch more things because we have so much stuff to sell still. All right, let's talk to you, the chef. You kill the rats, yes? I heard commotion in the cellar. Good. Perfect. Here, you take this. And do not worry. Chef Revere's eyes will be kept most peeled for murderous knaves. You're gonna die. Yes. Alright, I guess we're gonna go deal with the gift instead. We need 200 experience, which seems like a low amount. But let's go fight some Githyanki and deal with that whole problem. I forgot that they were down here, to be honest, but oh well. Live and learn. Everyone becomes stealth because it's easier to get surprise rounds when you're stealthed. Githyanki. Blackhead has found us. Get rid of them. Quickly. That guy has so much life. Some of these don't have that much life. Okay. Let's move some people around. There's two gate people that I think we'll need to die first. So they don't summon reinforcements. And then there's one that needs to be tanked, probably by Shadowheart. I'm going to lob a fireball to start this fight, I think. Right up there, but I can't, because I can't quite see up there. Is that going to work? No. Can't see. Oh, there we go. Really? It moved right out of range? Oh, that was, okay, it's not the one I thought it was. Oh, God, Gale, no. Oh, Gale might just die in the first round of combat, but that's fine. He'll be fine. I'm gonna misty step her right to there. And we leveled up, but the gate is gone. Good. I don't suppose she can shoot over there. Nope. So let's just shoot this guy. We hit once, we missed once. Everyone else is in this fight. I'm gonna jump, I think, up to... We provoke an AOO from what? Oh, that guy's there. I'll take the AOO. All right. Ow. I still want you to jump. Go. And there's our level up. And we'll hit that one, and we don't have any bonus actions, so there's not much we can do about that right now. Bye forever, pal. You're fine for now. Need you fast. need to move over here. It's not your turn. My turn. Whose turn is it? It's their turn, but there's not much else you can do. Same with you. Karlak has been held, which does suck, and it's gonna hurt. He is frightened and can't move. Guess we can't cast spells, but that's fine. Can you misty step? Yes. Let's get you away from the melee, I suppose. We got shocking grasp for a lot of damage, actually. That hurt, too. Everything is hurting a lot. Let's move up to here. We're going to cast two spells. We're going to do this one. Spirit Guardians, and then I don't know who this is going to hit. Is it going to hit anyone? It's going to hit Gale and Shadowheart. It seems like a waste. But oh well. Could use the healing on Gale, I guess. That hurt, too. Could you stop using big attacks? Save versus shield blow. Missed its attack. Okay. We're to some extent alive. This is fine. I'm gonna rage so we don't hopefully die. We'll see how that goes, but that's fine. At least both the gates are done. 
We can't move over there without taking the AOO, so let's just... Do some damage if we can. He's held. And Karlak is just getting beaten down. Because she's got hold person. He's frightened. But might be close enough to deal some damage. Oops, wrong one. Little bit of damage. Not the best round ever, but... Could you please stop shocking grasp? I need you to move. Oh, you're frightened. I was kind of hoping we could get a heal on a Lyra, but that's not going to happen because we are frightened and we can't move. Super. Critical miss. Great. Oh, well, nothing we can do. Where's he going? Carlax down. We are still alive, somehow. I'm amazed by this. It's possible we can kill this guy and maybe survive. <laughs> and of course we critically miss at the key moment, the crucial moment here. And this one's just going to kill Karlak straight up. We need to res her. We'll res her back there with uh, Gale. He's got the scrolls, I believe. The red scrolls. Can't you target her? Maybe I have to be in a range. I can't move him because he's still frightened, which is extremely annoying. Okay, what if we misty step? Nope, we just can't move. All right, let's just start. Let's just keep killing things. Uh, we only have a level three one. That's going to have to work, I guess. Missed his attack. Hit its main attack, though. That is unfortunate. Did it lose? Fr we're, we're not frightened anymore. That's good. We can heal. It didn't hit her. That's so unfortunate. We could throw a healing potion. I think. Path is interrupted by that stupid bulletin board. Fine, whatever. Legendary resistance is very annoying. Astral step down. And Gale has been held. Of course, this has been going super good for us. And we're gonna die in a sec here because they just keep killing our dead people. Which, to be fair, I would too, so it's not like it's weird that they're doing that. It's gonna be two scrolls we're gonna be using up. Um, how do I want to deal with this whole problem? We need to get Gale back up. So we need to get hold off of him. Let's just move up here. Take the AOL. Saving. They have incredible saving throws. I don't think I've ever seen them fail one. Some extra damage. At least Shadowheart, I think, is basically invincible. Astral step. Gonna kill Gale. Probably. That one's only got 11 hit points left. I'm not too concerned about that one. Not dead. None of them are dead. Gale's gonna die. Death can't have me. Not yet. 
And Shadowheart's blind, but actually doesn't need to be able to see to win. Just ignoring that. Can't quite get into range. That's fine. Shadowheart, you're on your own, but you got this. I believe in you. Almost dead. This is probably the worst fight we've ever had, actually. Oh no, we lost our thing. Oh, she's held. This is actually incredibly bad. I don't know if she can die, but she's saved. Okay, we're gonna get another one up. Do we have any more level three spells? We might. Oh, we do. Okay, good. Old person's gone. I'm going to go over here. Take the AOL. Move up here. No old person. We got shoved. I just love how she's not taking any damage from these guys. Alright, well, this is the last target. Amazingly good saving throws on those, though. I gotta say. Shadowheart is the best defender. Alright. Let's get everyone back up. We did level, so that's a plus. Uh, let's start with Gale. Take your you are back up. Let's go find our main character, also dead up here. And then we're going to have to pause the video real quick. We can do all of the things that we need to do. I shouldn't have jumped up here by myself. That was stupid. I should have used range to deal with the gatekeepers and then stayed down and fought in healing range of Shadowheart and not up here where I could be hold personed and killed. Although, to be fair, we would have survived just fine had we not critically missed our 95% chance to hit. So, I mean, it's not entirely my fault. All right. We're going to need to rest, probably. We're all very hurt, but we also need it to level up. And sell some more junk, because we have so much junk to sell. We have no short rests, so I'm not going to bother. Just going to loot the bodies and then take a look around really quickly. There is a note, a couple notes around. There's the Ledger of Waterdeep Docks. Debts, sorry. A ledger of debts from high-ranking officials in Waterdeep annotated with a handwritten comment for favors. Start at the top in order of descending importance. Inroads by arms dealer Gortesh. Here goes nothing. Nine fingers. Here follows a report on the inroads of an upstart smuggler Enver Gortesh has been making on the illicit arms trade in the Chianthar Valley. Although inroads badly understates the case, annexation would be more apt. The former black market leaders, Knights of the Shield, and outside the city of the Zentarum, have been largely supplanted by Gortash's operation. Illegal arms have never been a major component of the guild's business, but given his apparent ambitions, it would be unwise to assume Gortash will stop there. He bears watching closely. Oh, also, a silver go. key. What is it for? I'll just take a look around and see if we can figure it out. Sword. I'm just going to keep all these weapons on me to sell. And crossbows and a potion. Uh, boots of psionic movement. When a Githyanki casts fly, their next melee attack deals an additional 1 to 4 psychic damage and gives flying. Uh, Githyanki greatsword, Githyanki short sword, Githyanki plate armor. We'll keep the plate. It's actually worth a good chunk of money. 
Actually, still studded leather, to be fair. I don't know why studded leather is worth so much, but... Fair enough. Uh, location of reserve supplies. For night use only, do not distribute. Buried behind the counting house, path to Baldur's Gate near the upper city. Wait, what? Where? Behind the counting house. Okay. Well, to look for the counting house and... Uh, find that as well. There's a boot in. Thank you for bringing me back. Look around. You'll find some of my things still intact. Perhaps even useful to you. A sword. It is the Sword of the Emperor. Shapeshifting Slayer. It deals an additional 1 to 4 damage against shapeshifters or polymorph creatures. Plus 2 bonus against uh, spells and plus 2 sword in general. It's not a bad sword by any measure. The Emperor's Wardrobe. The home of all my disguise at the shell. A keepsake from my final voyage. Pinched in a moment of sentimentality. Cerebral Citadel Armor. 18. You can't be frightened. If the wearer is infested by a Mind Flare Tadpole, they get plus one bonus to intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. Disadvantage on stealth. Uh, charm or frighten a creature to gain one to four bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. Actually, a decent armor set. I think I'm also encumbered, probably. I'm now carrying too much junk. We'll just give one of these to Carlac to cart around for a minute. My cutlery set. A gift from my mother. The butter knife is missing, but otherwise it looks to be complete. I don't need it anymore. Something in me still. Still means portrait. There she is, in all her glory. Jubelin Stelmain, my old partner. Something over there. A recipe for fiddlehead soup. A favorite meal of mine. When I had need of meals like that. I'm not reading it, but... The chains I use to buy my meals. Villains and lawbreakers. You see, I tried to exercise morality where I could. Okay. There's a empty brain jar. An old container for brains. Empty. Shame. It would have been nice to find one to sustain me. There's a hatch that leads down to the lower city sewers. We're not going to be traveling through the sewers, but let's just quickly glance at all the junk in here. We're not taking generic trinkets anymore. Just not going to do that. Or dyes, for that matter. I don't care enough about them. I don't know why I took them to start with. I've never dyed my gear, and I don't really plan to, so... It's not safe here. Where the hell did you come from? It's too late for me, but not for you. Run as fast as your legs can carry you. First, tell me what you're doing down here. The shapeshifter, or in the red. She sees me from our camp, bore me here to Baal's enclave. She, she slit my belly and filled her cup with my blood. A toast, she said. To her false god. She told me when her cup ran dry, she'd come for the rest of me. I'm done for. I will hold her off as long as I'm able. Run while you still can. Don't even think about fighting her. This foe is too powerful. I'm not leaving you behind. You're coming with us. You let the Githyanki weigh you down. It's Warren again. She would make corpses of you all. Look at it. Crawling and sniffing and rooting around in the filth. 
Is it my nether stone you seek? Yes. Little piggy. <gasps> hush, hush. Orin will take care of you. And your little You'll pay for this monster. Do you drown in despair already? Oh, but there's so much more to do. <laughs> I could peel a fine pelt from the mud I caught, sniffing at your heels. Drag skin from flesh, from bone. <gasps> I will not slice. Her kind die too easily. The murder lord demands a better offering. Something new, sticky, sweet, and delicious. He wants you. Come for me and I'll, you'll meet your gods soon enough. Silly little word. My God is always with me. He shudders to see how my blades plunge into soft, surrendered flesh. You are dull. A blunt blade unfit to flay. But you could be sharpened, thin and jagged. Yes, I will tell you what to do. Enough of these riddles. Speak plainly. You'd prefer my whispers in the tyrant's tongue, hmm? You've heard Gortash's whispers. I see how your skull swarms with his promises. He whinges and wails over the crown of Carsus, wanting to command it without me. Oh. How I long to slit his poxy smile from ear to ear. But I can't touch him. He bound my blade when we first conspired. Gortash didn't want me at first. Didn't trust me. Got me to wag my tongue, swear an oath, never to hang him from the hooks. Trip drain him into father's open jaws. You must kill the tyrant. Take the netherstone from his corpse and bring it to my temple. We slice and shred each other. The survivor claims the stones. What's left of the other is bars. Agree, and I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your veins. Refuse me. And you'll learn what happens to those who defy Baal's doctrine. So will your friend. Orin demands a fight to the death. The prize for the victor, the nether stones, and the chance to control the crown alone. Accept, and you must kill Gortash. Refuse, and your companion's life may be forfeit, as might your own. Orin's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. Gortesh can wait. I'm coming for you first, monster. Oh, silly, silly little slaughterhound. My assassins will not let you. If you hunt me, then they hunt you. That's fine. I'm okay with that. The murder lord will not be denied. Neither will I. Bye, Orin. Wasn't expecting her to make it here, but that's fine. Did we just get Lazel's backpack because she's dead? I'm not saying that we just did, but we might have just did. Let's go to camp. We need to rest really badly, and Lazel is not going to be here. Which is sad, because I actually like Lazel as a character. Let's see my statue. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. I look so heroic. I need to rest really badly. We're at one hit point on an array of characters. Yes, let's rest. Let's see if anyone wants to talk. Oh, somebody wants to talk. 
Who wants to talk? Oh, Will wants to talk. What do you want to talk about now? You talk so much, Will. You need to calm down. Oh, Ms. R is here. Ms. Aura? Whatever. Oh, we're gonna die. Probably. Come, sisters, be my testament. No tomb sit in Beator. No tomb sit in Beator. Holy hells. Please introduce me to your friends. Fina, Cirrus, Arbiters for the Hells, Exemplars of Justice. Enough, Mizora. Where is my father? How do I save him? How else we bargain? Sisters. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Your contract, Will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. What are you proposing? A life for a life. No contract is ended without sacrifice. The cost must be paid. Will Ravenguard, a choice is before you. Option one, I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two. I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. Bloody Zariel. I won't let her take Will. Silence, Karlak. Miss Aura, you asshole. Choose. Let your father die. When the city's free, you can take his place. You damned wretch. Father, do it. Break the pact. Sorry, Duke Ravenguard. Fiat ita. Fiat ita. Anima ad beator. Didn't think you had it in you. Seems my boy's all grown up. And don't go fussing about your father. You made your choice. You knew the terms. You know what? I think I'll stick around. Not for the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. Great, Will's packed with Mazora. I got loophole achievement. All right, who wants to talk? I'm sure some people want to talk. Whoever's over here wants to talk at the very least, Karlak. And then we need to rest, because, oh my god, we are almost dead. I was really worried we are going to fight there, and I don't think we could have won. I figured it out. Exactly what I want to do with you. Cliff diving, naked horse riding, dueling a troll. Even crazier than that, if you can believe it. What's that? I want to go on a date. A first date. No weapons, no monsters, no mysterious voices. Just you and me and dinner. Please, say yes. I'd love to go out with you. Yes! Oh, I made 
amazing. Put on your least bloody tunic and meet me back here. Oh, I'm so excited! Let's go. Give me a beat to run ahead. I want to make sure everything's absolutely perfect. See you there. So no rest then? What? Okay. Hi. Hi. You made it. You look nice. Thank you. So do you. Thank you. Hmm. Baldurian seafood stew. No, thank you. What do you think you'll have? Hmm. Pumpkin stew sounds good. I love pumpkin stew. It's so good. Nice and light. Sounds perfect. Pumpkin soup is just great in general. Pumpkin anything. You know what there isn't enough of in the world? Sweet potato <gasps> pies. Two pumpkin stews, my good man. And two glasses of... Ooh, I'll have some tea, I think. Actually, I don't like tea in real life. I like the idea of tea, I just don't like the taste of tea. I'll go with beer. And two glasses of beer. <laughs> So, you're an adventurer, right? How's that going? You've been by my side for a lot of it, you know? I know, but this is our first date, remember? Tonight, you're a mystery to me. Oh, I see. Does mysteriousness suit me? It does. There's so much about you I don't know, but I'm hungry for every part of it. <laughs> God, I'm terrible at this. I'm trying to have a first date, but I feel like I've known you all my life. You're right. What should we do? Hmm. Ask me a question, maybe. A getting to know you type question. Okay. So where did you grow up? Right here in Baldur's Gate, more or less. My folks are long gone now, but they raised me in the outer city. Dad was a porter in town, Mum did laundry. Still think of her when I smell clean sheets. We were poorer than dirt, but my gods, we had fun. What about you? I'm from Baldur's Gate too. I wonder if we ever crossed paths. Might have. If you spent any time in the outer city, we didn't exactly hide ourselves under a bushel. Oh, hey, here comes our food. Uh, hey, uh, Hank, I think we ordered the. It's a bleeder. What does that mean? Worst guy I ever met. Anyway, how about a toast? Oh, shit! We can use my glass, Tuss. May we live every day like it's our last. Aww. This is the cutest relationship. You never know when your last will come. the company. What do you want to do now? You know what I want to do. I know I can't stay forever here with you. In fact, I feel like, like I don't have long left at all. We've been through so much. And the worst is yet to come. I have every reason to feel terrified, hopeless, not giving up. But to be here with you 
in the city I love, in this world that I love so much. It's all I could really ask for. You hear me? You're all I could ever ask for. I love you. And I know that whatever else this city will throw at us, we can handle it. I love you too. Come on. This is so cute. This is giving me the feels. Upstairs. After you. No. After you. Oh my. Oh dear. I think it's time for adult time. Cover your eyes, everyone. Actually, that's not true. There's no nudity in this playthrough because I turned it off because YouTube loses its shit if you have nudity in games. I would definitely get age locked. Because YouTube, much like a lot of the world, for some reason, applies a very archaic morality system in that goring someone with a sword, perfectly okay. A little bit of love and sex, age restricted. Just a little weird, you know? Something that bonds people together? Hard no. Something that lets you kill people? That's okay. Oh wait, someone at the campus wants to talk to me and said, Oom. Who has the exclamation? Oh, right there. Oh, it's Will. Of course it's Will. Why wouldn't it be Will? Also, this is a really nice song. Alright, Will, what do you got? Gods. I spent seven years choked by Mazora's leash. And I spent seven years hoping to break free. And never knew freedom could taste so bittersweet. You are your own man now, Will. It's better this way. I have to believe that. I'm not the Hell's puppet in life, nor its warrior in death. The blade will be guiding his own hand, but freedom will be paid in my father's blood. Tomorrow, I celebrate my gain. Today, I mourn my loss. A moment passes. In the stillness, you find a moat of tranquility. The Raven God name now lives solely with me. I will make it count for something. Your father's not dead yet, Will. Maybe there's a way to save him. I signed his life away before the Hell's Witnesses. It would be easier to drink the sticks down to the last drop than to alter his fate. I'd be a fool to wish otherwise. What's our next step, then? We obtain the final two nether stones and take back our minds. And the city. From the brain. Alright. Bye, Will. I'm gonna go do my rest now, finally. And, uh, I guess this one's run a little long. We're not gonna go fight the dragon. But we are gonna level between videos really quickly and do a bunch of selling. So we'll get that all done. And then in the next video, we will actually go down into the dungeons beneath oh really okay we have another cutscene it's just endless cutscenes in this part of the game not that they're not good just it's How's weird it? oh it's you I must have let my mind wander enough for you to wander in forgive me I am drained ever since you killed Catherick and took his netherstone the Chosen's control of the brain has been brittle. It's rebelling against Orin and Gortash, fiercely. I suspected that when we took Catherick's stone, the brain would begin to break free. Those brain quakes confirm that my suspicion was correct. I do not know what happens now when it receives their orders. 
And I do not dare guess. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An Elder Brain enslaved is one thing. An Elder Brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Beautiful, isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus, contained in submissive slumber. Come. You may as well sit a while. Now that you are here, your company isn't unwelcome. You seem troubled. An accurate summary. I have found myself distracted of late. I'm haunted by memories. They are relentless. I can think of nothing. No one. But Lynn, is it? The Duke that's dead? The very same. Duke Stelmane. As she was known in Baldur's Gate. You thought you were my first ally. Far from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Berlin was... different from my relationship with you. How so? In life, she was my business partner, back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. A difficult task for a Mind Flayer. Duke Stelmane trusted me, and the city trusted her. I conceived the plot, but Berlin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, we brought order to chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, she is gone. I'm sorry for your loss. I appreciate your understanding. What I feel is deeper than superficial cures can reach. And not entirely unwelcome. Most people think that Mind Flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. I am glad you are not most people. Thank you for sharing that. You have shown me great empathy. We are closer now. Close enough, I hope, that I can ask you to reconsider your position regarding your physical form. I know it is no easy choice for you, but we will have a far better time ridding the city of Gortash if you accept just a touch of illithidness. Not to mention the Elder Brain itself. Our chances against it greatly improve the more illithid we both are. Another quake. The brain is rebelling again. I need to focus. And so do you. Alrighty, we've rested. We're feeling better. I'm going to go do some selling and stuff like that. For now, though, I'm going to leave you all here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others, I'll see you next time. I'm going to do all of our leveling up. Uh, I don't think this is a very big level, but I'll let you know what we do for our level regardless. Until then, though, that's it for now. Take care. See you next time.